But I think it's good to zoom out in these particular instances and look at some of the real numbers. So I mentioned $10 trillion, but the World Economic Forum actually estimates the broader market, the target addressable market for tokenization of assets at 867 trillion, which is hard to imagine. The second part that's really interesting and perhaps what's quite different from those earlier cycles that I mentioned is that people are aligned in terms of the value that tokenization can bring. BNY Mellon, one of the world's largest custody banks, looked at their investor base and there's a very strong correlation, there's a strong belief that the time for tokenization has come. That period of experimentation is over. And the third aspect which is quite important to understand is, again, for those of you who may not be familiar with financial markets, uh, to try and envisage, to look for a mental model of what, are, what is the value that tokenization will bring. And one simple example to think of is the fact that financial markets today do not operate 24-7, 365. The Australian Stock Exchange shuts down at a particular point in time. Fixed income markets shut down in Europe at a particular time and so on. And what a simple example to think of is in tokenized markets with digital assets that can trade 24-7, 365. You can imagine how this can grow the liquidity in a market, the velocity of a market, and so on.